We are back at Outback RV in Denton, and today we're going to talk about the OBI Dweller 15. I got um, Robert here with me, and uh, he told us about the, uh, the Conqueror on the last video. So this is a brand new model that is not, you said there was not a lot of content out about it yet. Not a lot of content. Okay. OBI is a fairly new manufacturer. Okay. Um, Where are they from? Uh, they're from uh, Arizona. Arizona. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, okay. Well, let's go through it and tell, tell, tell us all about it. All right, guys. So, uh, the, if you're familiar with Opus products, this is very, very similar to the Opus 15. Okay. Uh, as the name will say, it's a Dweller 15. So, basically, you have your rear pop out, which is a manual pop out, um, which doesn't take that long to put out. Maybe about two minutes uh, if you've done it before. You say manual, does it crank out or do you just push it? No, you'll actually build it together. So okay. uh, inside you'll oh, have- Oh, I see. So all the walls fold down. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Inside okay. you'll have a mattress that folds in half. Okay. So you'll basically push the mattress forward. Uh, you'll, uh, and, and it's all air assisted, so it's pretty yeah. easy to yeah, do it okay. by yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you'll basically open up the two uh, side walls, pop the roof up. Okay. Bring the back forward and you have a slide out. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, right here, you'll have your kitchen. Again, it's an outside kitchen, mm -hmm. which uh, I found that a lot of people prefer, especially yep. in the overlanding uh, space. Mm -hmm. uh, right here, we have our two burner stove, a little sink, uh, and just a little bit of storage area. Of course, uh, we can put your silverware. Silver and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little brain fart there. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. All right, so our <laughs> silverware will go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah about it the most important thing bottle opener. bottle opener i was gonna say that's, that's right. a bottle opener right there very important <laughs> selling feature there right and this is how easy it is to uh get the whole thing opened up or closed up in this case all right you'll slide this closed you'll press this down and that's it that's, that's our, it that's our whole kitchen setup all gone super easy <laughs> very cool all right yep and if you wanted it out again same thing Super, super easy. Yeah. Cool. Over here we have a little shelf that you can use for, uh, you know, just storing things, cutting board, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, again, we have our awning. In this case, this is going to be an electric awning. Yeah. So very easy to put out. You just press a button and it pops out. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's uh, a, a bit longer than what you see right now. Uh, we just don't have enough room in our showroom just yet. Oh, but right, yeah, so it uh, comes out farther. It's a pretty big awning, okay. yeah. And yeah. The, okay. at the very end, you have two poles that you put out just so you can stabilize it. Okay. But again, electric awning, so much easier to put out. Yeah. Doesn't take as long as some other units. Let's not forget the fridge. The fridge, yeah, in I was this looking one, at the fridge earlier. That's right, yeah. <laughs> the fridge is going to be on the other side. So, and with this model, we have a giant fridge. Mm hmm. So let's see here again. It's a snowmaster. Snowmaster. I'm gonna need to slide by. And again, this is very similar to the Conqueror. Okay. So it's either gonna be Snowmaster or Iceco, depending on availability. But they're gotcha. both gonna be the same size. Okay. And like we discussed with the Conqueror, again, you can have this as a fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer. Gotcha. You set your temperature. Mm -hmm. I've had a Snowmaster fridge for five or six years. And uh, I've been very happy with it. There's been a lot of new models come out since I got mine. Uh, so I probably need to upgrade mine, but I'm going to go with it again because I've been happy with the old one. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah this has a tray that so you can kind of double exactly. stack stuff in yep. there. Exactly. That's our 12 Good. volt fridge. And uh, they actually, and this is new to me, I just saw this, they actually include a second bottle opener. So <laughs> huge, huge selling point huge right selling there. Huge selling point then. <laughs> awesome. One thing All I right. will say about the Dweller, uh, we don't want to miss the speakers on the outside, which is a really nice feature. Yep. Um, okay. Again, Bluetooth stereo. So if you wanted to play some music, you can okay. use your phone for that. All right. Before we get inside, tell us the, because uh, uh, the length and the dry weight, you wanted to mention that. The dry, yeah, the dry weight on this one is uh, 5,080. 80, which is fairly okay. lightweight for a trailer, but uh, I would suggest using a, a pickup truck uh, yeah. as far as pulling it. Uh, let's say the length, uh, the length, yeah, we have 17, nine closed. And then if you have the slide out on the back open, it's about eight foot nine. Okay. So, okay. Still pretty low profile. I do want to go over the suspension and you might want to get this on camera. It's okay. a pretty heavy duty uh, coil suspension. And if you take a peek right back here, yeah. You'll be able to see the coil springs. Oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah, it's a heavy, heavy duty yeah. suspension. Yeah, those are 
hefty for sure. Wow, okay. That's good. <clears throat> Clearance on it's just pretty much what you'd expect in an overlanding trailer also. Yep. So. You have your four stabilizer jacks and they're just the crank down jacks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now the, the really cool thing about this trailer is the water capacity. Okay. Uh, in total, you'll have about 52 gallons of fresh water and 21 gallons of gray water. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you wanted to bring some water with you, you have plenty of space for that. Nice. Good. Okay. And if you wanted to go over to the outside here, as far as storage goes, this one has considerably more storage than most trailers. You have your two propane holders on each yeah. side. On this side, we'll have a lot of storage. Yeah. Uh, and this is the really nice thing about the dweller, just storage everywhere. So you have two storage boxes on the front. Okay, I saw the bottom ones and there's like a slide out, tr a slide out drawer underneath here. I'll That's let, right. I'll let here. you get back there if you want to. Yeah. Back here. So yeah, we have two metal slide out drawers, which okay. if you were bringing tools with you, things like that, it's yeah, perfect for that. Kind of universal whatever stuff. Okay. Exactly. Good. Right behind it, we have our cassette toilet. So once this is full, mm -hmm. you'll take this out, go find a place to dump it. Okay. Uh, pretty what, simple. What's this one up here at, at the top? Again, more storage. So. Okay. Oh, wow. That's pretty deep in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's cool. A lot of storage. The light, in there, the, thing. the light in there is nice too. That's right. And okay. uh, now with this trailer, we actually have a shower inside, but they also yes. included an outside shower. So uh, if you wanted to you know, spray off or if you had yeah. a dog with you or anything like that, yeah. you can do it outside before you actually get in the trailer, which okay. is really nice. I, saw, I noticed that there were two. Yeah, two spare tires on the 15. <laughs> getting, getting in real trouble. Oh yeah. You've got two spare tires on this thing. <laughs> nice, cool. And I like these windows that are all, all around it as well. Yep, nice, shatterproof uh, windows. Shatterproof, and they're kind of bubbled like that, so they, they look really nice. Good, yeah. okay. Now, the inside of the trailer. Again, electric steps, so a little bit fancier than some other trailers. Yeah. Uh, but this is the really nice thing about this one in particular. So, the screen door, which yeah. is, I've been in the RV industry for five, six years now. Uh -huh. I would say this is probably the best screen door I've seen in the whole industry. It almost looks like the back of a screen door in an old 50s home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like in a good way. Like in a good way, yeah. It doesn't, look like it's, it doesn't look like it's cheap, like a lot of screen doors you see in RVs. It's very solid, yeah. yeah. So if you have animals inside, you don't have right. to worry about them yeah. you know, getting out or anything like yeah. that. Good. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's go in. Electric step, which is pretty cool. Ah. You don't see it very often. No. Okay. And we can start with this area right here. Sure. So right there, you can see your uh, little, that's the Bluetooth stereo right there. Yep. Again, storage. Mm -hmm. And these are really nice. They're not going to open on you when you're driving. Oh, yeah, those locking mechanisms. Exactly. Yeah, yeah those Pretty are nice. easy to open. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you have uh, pretty much all your uh, gauges here. You have your front uh, fresh water tank and your rear water tank. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your gray water tank. That's the capacity on it right there. Mm -hmm. um, you have your battery disconnect. If you wanted to disconnect the whole trailer and not drain your batteries, mm -hmm. uh, you can turn on the fridge from here, uh, some lights, your water pump, and so and so, and your battery voltage as well. Cool. So very useful information right there. Yep. Um, again, if you peek in here, uh, Plenty of space for, I mean, this is your pantry right here, so. Oh, nice. Just a huge, wow. huge pantry. That's really deep in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And we have a lot of people that bring, you know, like maybe a hot plate or a small microwave, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in just a little bit, but uh -huh. we have a 2000 watt inverter on this mm -hmm. trailer. So if you wanted to bring something like this with you, you can use your outlets inside, even if you're not hooked up to shore power, right. you can set up your appliances right here. Right, okay, good. Um, Let's go over the bathroom, which is the most yeah. exciting feature. Yeah, that's it. what I was going to say. And you don't see this in a lot of overlanding trailers. I'm just going to get behind you so okay. I can come up this way. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, again, super unique for an overlanding trailer, but right. this one has a bathroom and it's it's fairly spacious. Yeah. So we're going to have our uh, toilet right there. We have our shower. It's what we call a wet bath. Huh, okay. But again, plenty of room, plenty of lighting inside. Well, I just. Uh fan up there yep for it that's cool a little fan and you and even get a little sink a little bit yeah, of storage little sink there okay storage underneath the sink good that's right. okay 
cool. Okay. And this whole uh, this whole thing kind of pops pops up and down the whole with these handles up. right here. That's right. right. So okay. you'll you'll yeah. do the front side first, and then yeah. you'll do the back one. Okay. Again, really easy to get the whole thing opened up. Uh, okay. The only thing that's on the roof right now is three solar panels. Okay. And each one is a hundred watts, mm -hmm. and but again, very easy to uh, pop the whole roof open by yeah. yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. So on this side, we just have more storage. So again, an right. outlet right there. So if you wanted to bring a couple of appliances, you can mm -hmm. set them down right here. Sure. Little overhead storage right here. And again, just lots and lots of shelves. Yep. Lots of storage. Good. You even have a little closet area if you want to hang up some shirts, things like okay. that. Uh, on this side, now this is the really cool thing. We have our little dinette area and this little cool table, which you can maneuver it any which way you want. Mm -hmm. Super easy to move around. Again, some more shelving here. And this little thing right here is actually a ladder for our bunk oh, bed. Oh, for the bunk bed, okay. Which folds up okay. if you wanted a little bit more headroom, but if you wanted to use the bunk, it's as simple as this, so. Yep, it's okay a little stand kiddo. up here. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yep. Good bunk bed there. Okay. That's our bunk area right there. Again, right. more storage on this side. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to take a good shot of uh, what we have right here. Yeah. So, in this particular unit, we're going to have a, uh, uh, of course, we mentioned the Renogy uh, 2000 watt inverter, right. which is very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have three. Uh, 100 amp hour batteries mm -hmm. and we also have your AC unit with a heat pump right underneath the bed okay yeah all that's stored underneath where I was all just standing. that is stored yeah. right there yep okay okay and if you want to take a look this nice. is it right here so really easy access to your batteries easy access to your AC unit really uh -huh. easy access to your uh, uh, inverter okay good and it's all very quiet yeah yeah I mean I, mean, I I can't even, I mean, I, I hear a small fan right now, mm -hmm. but it's not loud at all. Yep. Okay, good. And a really cool thing, we're also gonna have the Truma heat on this. So uh -huh. if you don't have access to any kind of shore power or anything like that, you still need a heat. Uh, you can still use, as long as you have propane, you can still use your heater. Okay, okay, good. Which is a really nice off-grid feature for this trailer. Yeah. Um, and like I mentioned, right now we have the uh, the mattress folded in two. It's still, uh, it, it's still in the wrapping, but mm -hmm. uh, this will fold out in two pieces. Uh, it's a fairly large uh, king-size mattress, mm -hmm. and uh, dare I say, the most comfortable mattress in all of the RV industry. Really? <laughs> okay. The most comfortable yeah. mattress. Bar That's none. Kind of bold, but okay. It, it, it's I, a strong I, statement. I, I know that <laughs> I know that it doesn't say much when you're talking about RV mattresses. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a mattress that I will use myself. That is definitely a thick mattress. Very I mean, look nice. At, mattress. Looking at it like that. Yep. Okay. Very, very comfortable. Good. Now you also okay. have a TV on this side, which uh -huh. uh, swings out. So if you wanted to watch it right here from your dinette, you could do that. If you wanted to watch it in bed, you could do that as well. Okay. And if you want to squeeze in there on each yep. side, we're gonna have a. Uh, some lights, some reading lights. Uh, we have some USB plugs, some 12 volt yeah. plugs right there. And yep. we also have a little bit of storage right here as well. Cool. And then the really cool thing about the uh, the windows is they have both day and night shades. So if you wanted to get some uh, sunlight in here, you can open up the whole window. If you wanted to get a little bit of shade, you can have the day shade on mm -hmm. if you're trying to get some sleep. Nice. Have the night shade okay. on. Super easy to use. Very cool. Very, very good design. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Okay, same thing on this side too. Same thing on that side. USB and ports and everything. A little bit of, about the canvas. This is not your regular uh, pop-up style canvas. This uh -huh. is actually a really tough rubber-like material. Mm -hmm. So as far as like water getting in or anything like that, heat escaping, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's built a lot better than your standard pop-up. Yeah. Yeah. Very tough material. You kind of you kind of notice that by looking at it. I didn't know what I was looking at really, but yes. Now that you say that, that makes a lot of sense. Now, are these those that th there's there's some kind of fan that some brand of fan that all the RVers are talking about right now? Max Air. Max Air. Yeah. So we have the Max Air fan in the bathroom. With uh, this one, this is just uh, this is a skylight. So you, if you wanted some more air, you can open this up. Gotcha. And it's a skylight. Or again, you can yeah. cover the whole thing up. 
Oh, okay. So you can screen it or you can totally close it off. That's right. That's one of the things in my RV trailer, you can't close it off. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, like I can get a cover for it, but it doesn't come with that. I have to have one custom made, blah, blah. Exactly. But yeah, that's really nice that you can cover it off like that because that's the first thing that wakes you up in the morning is the sun coming in. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so cool. Good. Well, hey, this was a, uh, this is a very unique, I say overlanding trailer by kind of, I don't know. I, it is an overlanding trailer because of the height, because of the weight, because of the, the big uh, wheels and tires on it, because of the clearance on it. But it's got a, it's got a shower and a bathroom in it. <laughs> so <laughs> go figure. But it's got, but it's, but this is a lot more off grid than that last one we looked at. Uh, that uh, well, by the time this video posts, it'll be probably last week's video. But that last one didn't have an inverter and it didn't. It had batteries, didn't it? It did have batteries. It had batteries. Yeah. This it, one has an extra uh, 100 amp hour battery, so 300 right. amp hours. So 300 amp hours of batteries in this one with a 2,000 watt inverter. So and and which powers all your your 110 outlets inside. So this one. Uh, is much better for like say boondocking or overlanding or actually getting off grid if that's what you want to do. So mm -hmm. and there's it's it's good to have choices. Not everybody wants to do that and that's okay. So Robert, thanks for your time, man. This is a really cool trailer. Thanks yes, for sir. letting me tour it. <laughs> We're back at Alp. 